The remainder, when something is divided by five, that is simply asking for the units digit. The remainder when divided by 10 or the remainder when divided by five, that's asking for the units digit. You know, because if I know the number ends in a three, the remainder when divided divide by five is three. You know, 323, five goes into 320, and there's three left over. Or if the remainder, if the units digit is seven, the remainder when I divide by five is two. It goes like 327, well, five goes into 325, and there's two left over. So I, this is just asking for the unit digit. Okay, so I have a base of three. Uh, I don't know what n is, but let's look at it, the, the pattern. Like we talked about the patterns for unit digits for a base of three, three, nine, seven, one. So it repeats every four. So that's the thing. It doesn't matter what n is, because eight n will always get you to the fourth one on the cycle, because that'll be a multiple of four. Eight n will be a multiple of four. So eight n will always land you on the fourth one of the cycle, plus one, plus two, plus three. So that eight in, eight, 3 to the 8 in plus 3, and you have to check this on data sufficiency too. We already know what that ends in. That, that ends in a 7, and then we add 2. So that ends in a 9. So the remainder when you divide by 5 is 4. And if something, let's say that it's 29 is the number. 5 goes into 25, and it's 4 left over. Just 4 more than a multiple of 5. 